Is the Pope Mobile Catholic? A simple common phrase uttered by many in the Cars universe, through which implies a very deep and complex religious organization within Cars lore. Throughout the cinematic masterpiece that is Cars 2, we see many glimpses into this mysterious Catholic religion, including a small amount of screen time of His Holiness Pinion IV. The car pope is perhaps one of the most important individual automobiles in the car's universe, who wields tremendous influence and religious authority over the nearly 2.4 billion Catholics. Residing in Vatican City in St. Peter's Basilica, His Holiness the car pope is one of the most protected and beloved figures in all of car earth. From the Carsades to the Reformation, the Car Pope has certainly done much to shape car history. But how exactly is His Holiness, the Car Pope, selected? Well, to understand this complex process, first we must examine the car law and the hierarchy of Roman Catholicism in the car's universe. To become the Car Pope, you first must be a male car and be a Catholic. Women, as well as planes, boats, and trains are prohibited from becoming the car pope. After a car increases his mileage and transitions from a new car to a used car, he can elect to enter the Catholic carlergy and become a priest. To do this, he will need to enter a prestigious car university to study Catholic theology, traffic laws, and divinity, as well as wear a chastity belt so he will remain celibate and go the speed limit. Upon completion of car university, he will become one of 400,000 ordained car priests and will retain control over a small auto shop commonly referred to as a church. Once securing priesthood, a car then can begin climbing the Catholic corporate ladder to eventually become the car pope himself. The next position after priest is to become a buy shop, which will, upon attaining this office, upgrade the car to having control over a cathedral, and the buy shop will have power over two lower level church auto shops and priests, hence the name buy shop. To become a buy shop, a priest will have to be selected by the council of buy shops in Vatican City, and the car pope himself will have to approve his appointment, only if a sitting buy shop retires or is totaled. After achieving the appointment of a buy shop, a buy shop can only move diagonally from there into the last position before Car Pope, which is a Cardinal. Cardinals can only be appointed into their positions by the Car Pope himself, and their main function is to elect a new Car Pope after the one in office becomes totaled, or in very rare cases, retires. Although it is not a requirement to be a cardinal in order to become car pope, it is very rare that a non-cardinal is selected to become his holiness. It is also more likely to be chosen to be car pope if your car brand is Chrysler, as there is a stigma in the car's universe that this is a more roly brand. To choose a new car pope, the Cardinals will relinquish all of their cell phones and technology and be locked in the shift team chapel where they will begin voting procedures. To vote for the car pope, each Cardinal will use their internal radio system to call into a secret radio talk show and cast their vote. To win election as car pope, a Catholic car must achieve two thirds of the Cardinal vote and they will continue voting until a single car achieves this. To inform the car's world of the outcome of a car pope vote, the Vanicar will burn either excess fuel or motor oil out of an exhaust pipe at the top of St. Peter's Basilica. If the vote fails to elect a car pope, 
the Cardinals will burn excess fuel, which will cause black smoke to come out of the exhaust pipe. If a car pope is chosen, the Cardinals will burn the motor oil, which will put out white smoke and alert the world that his roliness has been chosen. And this is how a humble car can become the roliest of all the cars and be selected as the car pope. A shout out to my patrons for your continued support of this channel.